Welcome back. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but I think we'll do kind of a raw video today. I'm Eric. Welcome back to the Make Me Lab. If you've been around forever, you might remember this case. This is the case that I used for the Educase project. You can find it on Hackaday or in my GitHub. And we're going to repurpose this. What I wanted uh, for a long time now was a case that I could take with me anywhere with all my electronics goodies and enough stuff to do making on the road, so to speak. So what I did is I literally stuffed a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll set this up as a fun little makerspace for the road kind of thing. So what I've got, we'll just go over a few things quick and then maybe I'll do part two when I sort of assemble everything. But we've got a nifty little power supply that I grabbed one of these uh, power bricks. This is for an old TV. And this is at 18 volt, uh, what are we at? Five amp. So, oh no, it's 12 volt, five amp. Hmm, my bad, I thought I grabbed an 18. 18 would have been handy. But then we'll pipe that into there and we'll use this to control our output to whatever we want. And what I grabbed was these nifty little things. Uh, these jacks here, we'll break this out into a connection that we can use. But I also have these, where'd they go? Somewhere in here I had some jacks that we could use. Oh, here they are, they fell out. We can wire permanently into our power supply here and just plug in our wall wart when we need it. And I'll have a nifty little uh, power bar that we'll use to feed it. I grabbed a multimeter. This is the, the graphing multimeter. This pretty cool little unit, handy to have. A uh, little overkill because what I also have is a nifty little scope that I've never used. One of these pocket DSOs. So uh, pretty handy little unit. This runs off of nine volt, which will make a connection that goes and runs off of here or a permanent connection, or I also have a wall wart style for that too. So that'll be pretty cool. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Digital soldering iron that I've never used and haven't done a review on yet. I think we'll do a little review on that and give it a try. Uh, somewhere here, this is the ones I have used. Most underestimated soldering iron ever are these, I think I was buying them at one point for like $3. It's a USB non-temperature control that's wide open. So you control the temperature by controlling your contact with your component. But it gets hot. They work bloody fantastic. I've had great luck with them. Got some leads for my meter and my scope. Jumper wires. We've got breadboards. Q-tips. Alligator leads solder, various handy dandy components. This is out of different Arduino kits and whatnot. So just switches, LEDs, that kind of thing, handy to have. We have the new Arduino BLE. This is I'm using for um, some machine learning. Jumper wires, gotta have all the rare DuPont jumpers. We have an Arduino Nano and some OLEDs already set up. We must do one mini. And then some precision screwdrivers. Uh, this is a dollar store kit. This was, a, I think, an eBay special. Uh, it's, I don't like the case. It's way too big. I think we might shed the case. But yeah, other than that, it's OK. Then some various other microcontrollers in uh, these boxes that came with. Uh, these were the red bottom quadcopter motors came in these. But yeah, I think between all of this, we can set up a nifty little maker case, I think. Oh, I got another screwdriver, handy dandy. And I think this will be pretty cool. Like on the road, able to just grab and go and work with things. Uh, one thing I'm gonna add is a logic probe. I have multiple of the Sele clone logic probes. I gotta throw one of those in because, well, why not? If we're gonna have an oscilloscope, we should have that. And yeah, this will be a fun, this will be a fun little use of this pel Pelican case. I don't know whether I'll do a laser cut acrylic and stuff for it. I think for now what I'll do is I'll just find places to sort of stuff things and make it 
just sort of work. We'll go from there. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this a little bit more of a raw video. Throw a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these kind of videos. And let me know if you got any ideas for what should live in here. And we'll, yeah, we'll give this a go. I think it's going to be fun. Cheers, guys.